we think about myths, we usually think of fantastic tales of gods, heroes, and monsters that once shaped the primitive worldviews of past civilizations. Since the Enlightenment, mythology has been regarded as the product of simpler minds, something our modern culture has moved beyond in its embrace of the scientific method. But has science been successful in reading contemporary civilization of all myths? It is unlikely that it has or ever will. In fact, although we depend on the objectivity of science, scientifically influenced fields such as medicine are often full of their own myths and misunderstandings. This is because, as the anthropologist Claude Levi-Strauss believed, every myth, whether it be about a god hurling a lightning bolt from a mountain, or a generation of scientists trying to fight a peculiar disease of old age, is driven by the need to address the complexities of the human condition, and to try to resolve paradoxes that perplex us. In our modern age, in which remarkable scientific and technological advances have both extended and brought quality to human lives, we find major challenges to our rationality and values as science struggles to understand our own organ of rational thought, the brain, and the very processes of brain aging. From out of the depths of this modern paradox, a 100-year-old monster has risen. It is called Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease represents our culture's attempt to make sense of a natural process, brain aging, that we cannot fully bring under our control. Just as past civilizations put forward mythical explanations for natural events they could not explain or affect, we have created an antagonist, a terrorizing disease of the brain that our scientists are fighting against. But is the story so simple? Is Alzheimer's really a disease that we can or should expect to defeat? In 2005, Dr. Whitehouse and I attended a conference on dementia and were pulled aside by a neuroscientist from a large university in Ohio who told us that he'd had enough of the Alzheimer's myth. We're doing such a disservice to people by making big promises about what Alzheimer's is and overselling what we can deliver, he told us. We've created a monster and I'm tired of being part of that. Dr. Whitehouse and I have written our book to dispel the myths about Alzheimer's so that both individuals and families affected by brain aging can gain a greater understanding of what the condition is and a more genuine and realistic sense of hope for the future.